It's very difficult to get out of. I've never been in, so I don't know how do you get out of it. But the first step is to find out what's going on in terms of being in a gang and what that gang does and what it represents. Then you have to find out who you can talk to and who you can trust and get information from. Because if you go back to the same gang members and tell them you want to get out, it would be a serious problem. We have to understand that when a child is first engaged with a gang, they are coming in at low self-esteem and then they develop high self-esteem or they just get a reputation of having high self-esteem. So then it is difficult for them to leave that which gave them that self-confidence. In addition, by coming through the ranks and being identified as a person with high self-esteem, others look to that person and then a gang would be very reluctant to let go of that public identifiable um, person of having self-esteem or having the reputation to go with. So it's a dichotomy. Even within our families, our parents grab on to the good child, the one that makes the family look good. Same thing with the gang mentality. They want to hold on to the one that makes them look good. Even though good in their mind is the most brutal, is the most feared. We have already seen um, greater success in terms of their retrieving um, firearms from the streets and uh, from our communities. Last year, for example, we have a record of 21 firearms. That has increased to 31. And we are also seeing a greater uh, willingness of the community persons to work along with the police. Witnesses who would witness crimes and are fearful of coming forward think this country is ours. It is yours too. But come forward and give the evidence. If you do not trust certain people and certain police officers, there must be somebody in, the, in society, in, in the community, who each of us will trust, be it a pastor or a teacher or whoever. Give that information to someone who you trust and be strong and give that evidence. Because if you become the victim, you would also wish that someone would give that evidence and be that witness. At this time, the mission of the St. Gisela Navy Defence Force is to support the Royal St. Christopher Navy's Police Force in its program and activities to suppress all forms of criminal activity on the island. We involve ourselves in the joint patrols conducted by the police. We also conduct surveillance operations mm -hmm. and we contribute men to the strike force which is a joint team of police and the defense force soldiers whose um, task is to target gun-related activities. We are also um, working closely with international agencies like the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the FBI, and the Royal Canadian Mounted Police who are assisting us along with, of course, our CARICOM colleagues with ensuring that our officers here have the capacity to deal with these, what we refer to as unprecedented um, criminal activities in our federations. Behind me, what is going on here is a workshop in hotel and tourism security, funded by the, the Canadian government, put on by the Ministry of National Security. <laughs> the course essentially is covering what the tourism industry is about what sectors encompass the tourism industry, what are the threats, and what are the consequences and the, if, if the threats are not addressed. I was a member of the FBI for 26 years uh, where I specialized in terrorism and uh, bombing crime scene matters. The Ministry of National Security um, has been taking a proactive approach in terms of um, understanding and appreciating security as it relates to the tourism industry. The citizens of St. Kitts can be very proud of their police force. The challenge really is to attempt to demonstrate the government's zero tolerance to crime. And secondly, to ensure that the security infrastructure was being enhanced, rebuilt, expanded in several different ways. It became necessary in particular to attempt to rebuild the capacity 
of the men and women within the police force and defense force. Because we believe that it is not just enough to acquire training at the highest level, but we must be able as well to manifest that training on the ground in operations. A number of initiatives are being pursued. Firstly, we want to increase the visibility of the police officer in our communities. We were challenged with inadequacy of vehicles. And so we have increased the patrol of the men and women who serve. We have also created the bicycle patrol unit so that men and women on bicycles are able to maneuver themselves through the alleyways into the, our various communities, assisting, for example, in policing and patrolling the long stretch of um, road network that we have from our crews, pair, etc., to ensure that our visitors generally um, are feeling safe and free here, where they should be able to wear their jewelry without being afraid of being molested and become a targets for those who may wish to commit petty crimes. Statistics will show that petty crime is on the decrease. The police force have done a very good job in suppressing petty crimes. We are in the, the business of crime prevention. A comprehensive program is developed for dealing holistically with the, 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 the victims of crime and as well as the criminals themselves. We know that the adversary, according to the Bible, is like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour, according to 1 Peter 7, 5 and verse 7. Temptation is real, and the force of temptation is not idle. And people will fall, by the way. And we are saying that in as much as we hope that they don't fall, we have to be prepared when they fall to give them a chance to stand again on their feet. And, and it is the chance to stand again that very often we fail them in. Being a prisoner is not all about bad and looking at us as to be a diabolic villain. That's you know, we could see we mistakes and we need some aid, you know. I'm here from since um, 2001, early. Yeah, I'm, I'm serving a um, life sentence in prison. My failure to me was um, his guidance and so. Even my brother came to jail and all. And that, that was totally a disaster for me, you know what I mean? He came for the same kind of charge I hear on. Terrible. And I weep to myself as saying, man, oh, like, oh, I didn't set an example for him. He followed me. I can think of Hanno, two young men in particular who are first class masons now and who are small contractors in their own right. I mean, they were nothing but trouble in terms of, you know, the way they approach life and everything about authority seemed to have been for them something to be destroyed. And you know, it's just one of them tell the story of just one elderly lady who said to him, surely you can do something better with all that energy you have. And you know, just that in that one moment of encouragement and challenge, he began to think of his life in a different way.